The game of Tactagon is played on a very unusual board, with a variety of pieces. We'll be looking at each piece very soon, but I think I should mention that this game has two ways to win. Either you capture your opponent's pentagon piece, or you control these two hexes at the end of your opponent's turn. We'll walk through a few turns of the game to see how this plays out, but as promised, let's look at the pieces. At the beginning of the game, each player starts with six circles, three triangles, three squares, and one pentagon. All of these pieces have different speeds and strengths, which may sound complicated, but it's not. For instance, in order to find out how many hexes a piece can move, just count the number of sides the shape has. Circles only have one side, uh, kind of, so they can only move one hex at a time. Triangles move three, squares move four, and pentagons move five. When it comes to capturing, it's kind of reversed. Circles will win any time they try to take another piece. Triangles can take any piece as well, but if they try to take a circle, it's a tie and they are also removed from the board. Squares can take pentagons or other squares, they tie with triangles, and they simply are outmatched by circles and cannot attack them at all. Pentagons are the weakest and cannot capture any piece except other pentagons. And that's pretty much the game. It's not hard to pick up and there are many tactics that I'm sure haven't crossed my mind, but to illustrate the rules, I'll play around and show you a game in action. And this time, Red is going to start out by bringing a circle forward from the rear. Green is taking a more confrontational approach and pushes towards one of the objective hexes. Red takes this moment to capture the other objective hex. Green denies them their prize with their own triangle. Red decides losing a square is better than letting Green have that hex and sacrifices to take out the triangle. On their turn, Green clumsily brings a circle forward. Red takes this chance to retreat his pentagon. Green retakes the objective, which is quickly countered, which is countered again. Red advances with a circle, and Green does the same. Red converges on the contested hex, while Green goes for the win. The game isn't over yet, though. Red has one turn to capture one of the objectives, and here's where I made a mistake. This triangle would indeed remove this circle, but would be removed itself. This error doesn't change the game much though, because the green immediately retakes the hex and captures the errant piece. The game continues on like this until red takes both objective hexes and green is left unable to retake on their turn. Red is victorious and the glory goes to the victor. So that's Tactagon. It's a simple game with a lot of possibilities and you should give it a try. And until next time, this is Hogwash, over and out, catch you later.